This building is so tall, it has over 2,900 stairs, and that's just to the top floor, and it's not even the craziest one on the list. These towers weren't built for people, they were built to defy limits. Today, we're looking at the three tallest buildings on Earth, how they rose above the clouds, what's buried deep inside them, and the relentless vision driving humanity to touch the sky. Number 3. The Shanghai Tower 632 meters tall, a spiral rising from the heart of China's most powerful city. It doesn't just go up, it twists. The building rotates 120 degrees as it climbs, reducing wind pressure by up to 24%. That's essential in a region known for typhoons and earthquakes. Inside, a vertical city, 128 floors of offices, luxury hotels, observation decks, retail, and sky gardens suspended in glass atriums. And then there's the elevator, the fastest on Earth. It moves at 74 kilometers per hour, about 45 miles per hour, fast enough to feel like takeoff in a plane, but vertical. Number 2. Merdeka 118 in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. 678.9 meters tall, the tallest in Southeast Asia and second tallest in the world. Its name means independence, and the structure reflects it. The shape mimics a person raising a hand in triumph, symbolizing Malaysia's moment of national freedom. Inside, ultra-luxury. A hotel, premium offices, a massive mall, and a sky deck with views stretching for miles. Perspective check. Its spire alone is taller than most skyscrapers. It reaches higher than the entire Chrysler building. And that's just the tip. And number one, the Burj Khalifa, Dubai. 828 meters, taller than any structure humans have ever built. It's so tall, the wind at the top could tear it apart. So, engineers designed it to flex, not fight the wind, but move with it. The Burj Khalifa is a vertical ecosystem. 163 floors, residences, offices, a Giorgio Armani hotel, restaurants, and one of the highest open-air observation decks on Earth. Its foundation, anchored by nearly 200 massive concrete piles. Its elevators, able to travel over 500 meters in a single run, the longest elevator ride on the planet. So why do we keep building higher? Because every time we do, we raise more than just steel. We raise ambition, reputation, and the limits of what we think is possible. These towers aren't just about architecture, they're proof that we can keep going. Coming soon, the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia, designed to reach 1,000 meters. That's a full kilometer into the sky. If completed, it would be the first human-made structure to cross that line. And even that might not be the end. Concept designs already exist for buildings twice that height, where architecture meets science fiction. We're not just reaching for the sky anymore, we're trying to build beyond it. We can keep building higher. The question is, do we need to?